Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. So till now we had finished Porifera, Celentrata and the Stenophora, right? So today we will learn about Plati helminths and uh, there is one more helminths, Phyla, that is Escalmens, that we will study after this Phyla, Plati helminths. So basically helminths means worms, which are small worms, hote hai, small small and its body is dorsoventral flatted मतलब कि ये dorsum means आगे and ventral means पीछे कि आगे और ये पीछे दोनों साइड से ये बिल्कुल flat होते हैं like tape worm hence it is called as flat worm and it is endoparasite just break the term endo means inside para means unwanted or we can say uh, abnormal things and a uh, site means to leave means they leaves inside the body is liye endo and uh, exo bhi hota hai jo body ke bahar as a parasite hote hain kaun sa um, for example leech that is exo parasite that we that we will study further now try to understand this tape worm insert their mouth in intestinal region and its rest body part is swim freely and it is a bilateral symmetry organization level uh, will be organ level and uh, organization wise it is a triploblastic organisms and uh, it is acylomate all these uh, are very basic things aapko ye pata hona chahiye and uh, except from ncert some extra points are included in this lesson next hooks and suckers are present see what happen actually in indo parasite if we want to hang anything we require hook like if we want to hang key ring or uh, we can say kabde ya to fir kuch aur hang karna hota hai to we need hook in the same way these organisms require something for hanging inside the body to ye cell wall mein hang karenge ya organ ke cell mein right and uh, suckers are for absorbing food and nutrition from the host body and ye jo parasite hote hain they need at least two host body to complete their life cycle and uh, ye kisi ek organisms means ki host se apna life cycle complete nahi kar pate hai so they required at least two host and uh, such organisms known as digenetic they need at least two organisms to complete their whole life cycle so they requires hooks and suckers for their survival and uh, its characteristic feature is flame cell which is also known as solenocytes they are protonephridia which is the primitive form of nephridia which will form nephron aage ja kar ke matlab this is all about evolution you can say okay and it helps in excretion and uh, osmoregulation and uh, this is bisexual in nature and uh, its fertilization will be internal fertilization means ki when a sperm and egg fuse in the female body is said to be internal fertilization or bahar khulle mein jo fuse karte hain that is said to be external fertilization internal i n t e r n a l internal means ki i n in in se inside or external e x t e r n a l e x i t exit i n internal e x exit और जो बाहर खुले में फ्यूज करेंगे फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे फ्रॉग हो गया ये सब इनका बेसिकली दे फ्यूज इन द वाटर नाउ इट्स डेवलपमेंट विल बी इनडायरेक्ट मींस कि अगेन लार्वल स्टेज नाउ कम्स टू एग्जांपल द फर्स्ट वन इज लीवर फ्लूक दैट इज अ फैसियोला हेपेटिका अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट वन कि दे दे रिक्वायर एट लीस्ट two host two organisms to complete their whole life cycle and such organisms known as digenetic so in every digenetic organisms there are two host 
first one is primary host and the second one is secondary host and it is not confirmed that uh, which one will be primary or uh, which one will be secondary but yes in general where there is a sexual phases are present it is said to be primary host and rest one said to be secondary host so for liver there are two host kon kon se ship and garden snail ship will be the primary host and uh, garden snail will be secondary host larva which is present inside the snail known as miracidium larva which forms sporocyst and uh, then radia then cercaria and uh, then metacercaria in snail this miracidium larva will form sporocyst means ki structure of spore by the process of uh, different different metamorphosis and uh, this sporocyst will comes into water and forms radia and then it forms cercaria ye sare jo hain ye stages hain and this will finally convert into metacercaria which is eaten by ship i hope aap is diagram ko samajh rahe honge and the most important step is formation of cercaria to metacercaria is called as pedogenesis means ki ye jo interlarval stage mein generation ka alteration ho raha hai that is said to be pedogenesis so in snail we find miracidium and in ship metacercaria is present and this metacercaria is the infectious stage for the ship now cystic stoma blood fluke what happen in it actually ki male carry female in the gynecophoric canal female carried by male in the gynecophoric canal acha to ye male kaise itne acche ho gaye ki female ka khayal rakhne lage मतलब मेल के पास गाइनेकोफोरिक कैनाल होते हैं जिसमें फीमेल को कैरी करते हैं नाउ अब आप इसे याद कैसे रखेंगे एज यूजल जस्ट ब्रेक द टर्म गाइनेकोफोर गाइनी मीन्स फीमेल एंड फोरिक मीन्स पोर मीन्स की होल या तो फिर कैनाल यू कैन से राइट सो मेल इज हैविंग गाइनेकोफोरिक विच कैरी फीमेल ओके now next is tinea solium uh, which is also known as pop tape worm its body is like segmented or a unit like structure and uh, on head region hook sucker system is present so that they can absorb nutrition through it from the intestinal wall on this case man and pig will be host ab ye in इफेक्ट कैसे करते हैं सो इट इन्फेक्ट ड्यू टू अनकुक्ड और हाफ कुक्ड मीट ऑफ पॉर्क विच इज ईटन बाई अस ह्यूमन जो भी खाना पसंद करते हैं अब कच्चा खाने के बाद तो प्रॉब्लम हो गई ना सो नाउ कम्स टू इट्स लार्वल स्टेजेस देर आर टू लार्वा ऑफ इट विच इज अगेन रटने वाला पोर्शन द फर्स्ट वन इज ऑंकोसफेयर और इसे ऑंकोफोर भी कहते हैं ऑंकोफोर लार्वा या तो फिर ऑंकोसफेयर लार्वा विच इज द इन्फेक्टिव फेज ऑफ पिग एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सिस्टिसरस लार्वा विच इज इन्फेक्टिव स्टेज फॉर मैन एंड इन्फेक्टिव स्टेज मीन्स इफ अ मीन्स इफ अ मैन ईट्स इन ऑंकोसफेयर स्टेज देन नथिंग ऑन हैपन बट इफ इट इज इटेन इन द सिस्टिसरस स्टेज इट विल इन्फेक्ट द पर्सन right i am repeating it once again the first one is onchos fair larva which is infective phage of pig and the second one is cysticeras larva which is infective stage for men and in fact and infective stage means if a man eats in onchos fair stage then nothing going to happen but if it is eaten in cysticeras stage it will infect the person okay now there is a term epolysis epolysis means ab kya hota hai the breaking of of a unit or a fragment of this particular tape worm said to be epolysis 
अब पिक तो गंदे गंदे चीज़ खाते रहते हैं तो यूरिनेशन के थ्रू जो फ्रैगमेंट टूटता है तो वो बॉडी के बाहर चला जाता है सो so, इस प्रोसेस के थ्रू ये ट्रांसफ़र होते हैं एंड यस दिस इज़ योर मास्टर स्लाइड एग्जाम्पल विथ इट्स होस्ट एंड लार्वा विच इज़ रटने वाला पोर्शन अगेन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइला थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड इफ दिस वीडियो इज़ हेल्पफुल फॉर यू देन प्लीज शेयर इट एज मच एज यू कैन एंड हिट द लाइक बटन एंड गेस डू सब्सक्राइब अगर अभी तक नहीं किया है तो एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग